Scheduling a remote meeting in Microsoft Teams is quick and easy. Whether you have the free version of Microsoft Teams or your school or your organization has subscribed to an Office 365 Enterprise License Edition, you will be able to make one-to-one -one or group online audio and video calls. This video will be a guide for the free version of Microsoft Teams, but if you would like the guide for the Office 365 Enterprise version, please click on the video suggestion at the top of the screen as there are more options available for that version. First open the Microsoft Teams app and open your team. In the free version of Microsoft Teams, you will not be able to schedule an online meeting in advance. Instead, you will need to use the Meet Now option which will create a meeting straight away. If you choose this option, I would recommend you inform your colleagues in advance so that they know to log in before the meeting is supposed to start. Click on the Meet Now option in the Post tab of the channel. This will bring up a small window to set up the meeting. Add in the relevant details such as the subject title for the meeting and select whether you want the camera on or off. If your device does not have a camera, you will not be able to select the camera option and so the mic option is the only method of interacting with the others during the meeting. Once you have configured your meeting details, click on the Meet Now button to start the remote meeting. The call is now live and if you move the mouse, more options appear in the bottom of the screen. You can see how long the meeting has been running for. You can even toggle the camera on or off or mute your microphone. There is an option to show a conversation occurring within the team or to hide it. You can even see the participants that are in the team meeting. For more options, you can click on the More Options button. There are options to make the screen a full screen or to add a blur to the background if your camera is switched on. You can even turn on live captions to make your meeting more accessible to others. To leave the remote meeting, click on the hang up button and you'll be taken back to the post tab in the team. You will notice on the posts tabs in the team that there is a timestamp to show you when the meeting has ended and who attended the meeting. It is worth setting up clear rules for your meeting beforehand, which all members should adhere to so that the meeting can run smoothly. A common problem are echoes occurring if members of the call have their volume too loud or their mic is on. I would recommend someone in the remote meeting take a lead to direct individuals to switch on and off their mic when participating in discussions. This will prevent too many people talking at the same time as each other and therefore making the conversations more easier to follow. If you have found this video helpful, please give it a like, subscribe to the Teaching channel and click on the notification bell so you know when more useful videos are released.